Right and show. Render time. Marlon Brand. Oh, God. I just had this horrible dream where I was a film student and I. Uh, Hello, Internet. City Source here. Sorry for all that, but I'm exhausted. My workload has increased dramatically lately, and I'm starting to find out that as I get older and the responsibilities pile up, I just don't have time to mess around with nostalgic games and toys and video games, and honestly, it's time to grow up. The punchline is Pokemon. Let's go! Yes, Pokemon. It's no secret that sweet Arceus do I love me some Pokemon. Now, I know I promised you guys a certain video at some point. No. No means no. Okay, we're going to have to compromise. If you've been keeping up with your Pokemon like I have, you'll know that the 14th movie came out. Both versions of it. Pokemon Black, Victini and Reshiram, and Pokemon White, Victini and Zekrom. Now, I did try to watch it for this video, but I couldn't find a version that didn't cut off. I only got as far as Silence homemade macarons. Plus, I'm not here to make a movie review. If you do that outside of Channel Awesome, they take your thumbs. So instead, I thought we might try something a little more gustatory. But first, I've only got one running gag, and I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. Oh. I only have one Pokemon shirt, and according to the Arcane Rules of Reviewing, you can't wear a shirt more than once. Can I at least get a different hat? With, with a Pokemon pin? A good Pokemon pin? That's more like it. So, what has this all been building up to? Pokemon Black and White the Movie Candies. I found them at my local Asian convenience store while I was out shopping for nunchucks. All I can find about them is what it says here in little tiny letters, Meiji Pokemon Assort. I don't have anyone who can translate Japanese for me, and a quick googling of that tells me they're Dagashi style candies, not much else. So without further ado, welcome to the very first episode of City Source Tries. A quick look at the box shows us that there are five Pokemon, and five candies. That makes me think that each candy is supposed to somehow be associated with the Pokemon on the box. Because of this, what I'm going to do is describe each Pokemon, describe what I think its candy should taste like, and then actually trying it and comparing notes. But first, we'll have to open this with the power of editing. Ding! First up to bat is Tepig, the Fire Pig Pokemon. Now, if I had to describe what I think this should taste like, I'd have to say something maybe spicy because of its fire type, some dark chocolate maybe, or I don't know, maybe some lemon, because it looks like it's kind of got a lemon on its head. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, here's one. Kind of looks like a teeny tiny little Mentos. So why not? Okay, well, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a very, like, lemony, spicy thing. It's pretty sour. You feel like it's pretty decent representation, except that when I googled this particular candy on the internet, each picture had a different starter on this box. And I think they were all the same candy. So I don't think it's very Tepig specific by choice, but just by coincidence. Next up is the psychic type multiplying Pokemon, Reuniclus. If I had to guess what I think this should be like, I'm guessing something gummy, fruity, and maybe lime. Alright, let's just see here. Huh, this is interesting. Uh, it looks like, sort of like little M&M looking guys in the colors of the Pokemon. Okay, let's just try one. You know those off-brand M&Ms you would get for Halloween that came in like a two-pack because they're cheap? That's probably the closest approximation. Points for having the right color combo, but 
points off for the taste. I wasn't thinking chocolate. Next up is Victini, the victory Pokemon. Now, this Pokemon is said to represent the atom bomb. So I'm expecting something a lot like a warhead. You know, those really, really sour ones. Barring that, of course, I would have to go with something creamy, maybe orange flavored, and I don't know, fruity because of the big blue eyes? Let's see here. Okay, these look exactly like dog treats. Like, exactly. This one's getting the least points in terms of presentation so far. Let's see. Sweet baby Arceus! It's fudge! Points for Victini just for fudge reasons. Fudge reasons. Fudge reasons! I was dreading this one. But we're, we're going to have to get it out of the way at some point. Reshiram, the fast white Pokemon. Now, I just don't like the design of this Pokemon. Let's start from the beginning. I mean, look, it's just a chicken with a crotch spike soaring around at Mach 5. Anyway, I am expecting this candy to actually taste pretty bad in light of bad, bad Pokemon. But also, let's be honest, I don't know, something yogurty, uh, white chocolate is the most obvious. So let's go ahead and find out. Um, this looks exactly like the Tepig candy, except pink. I don't know, let's find out. It's Pop Rocks! I don't know if you can hear that. If not, I'll put in an awesome sound later. Um, yeah, I guess it fits with its sort of fiery nature and everything. I don't know why it was pink. There's no pink on this thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I was really looking forward to this. The Zekrom candy. Man, love me some Zekrom. It's an electric dinosaur dragon with a turbine attached to its butt. How much cooler do you think it's gonna get? Now, I think it's already going to be pretty good, but if I had to guess, I would say really dark chocolate, licorice, I think that'd be a good one, or something electric. If I hadn't just had the Reshiram one, I'd expect Pop Rocks. Um, let's find out. That's unexpected. It's a... Um, pure white one. I mean, I get that its game is Pokemon White, but if it's based on the Pokemon, I'd expect it to be the black one. Alright, uh, let's see. Here. Is that, um... It's... Oh, God! I have no idea what to say! It doesn't taste like anything I've ever had before. It's not that good, I'm just at a loss for words. Say something! Say anything! I wanna be the best, but no one ever was. To train them is my test. To catch them is my cause. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, sorry guys, I've nearly forgotten. A friend of mine is shaving her head to help raise money for St. Baldrick's, a cancer charity. You should all visit her page and donate. Okay? You can find the link in the description, and it'll make you a much better person. Like me! See you next time, everyone!